All right. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I can see my voice. So I'm trying the 15 millimeter. Oh, crap. It came off my little road uh, microphone. And that's probably what was causing the trouble. I'll put it right here on my stomach instead. Okay. So I'm recording on the Sony with the Carl Zeiss 50 millimeter this time. Okay. And it's at F11. I think, yeah, I got it in program mode. And uh, the funny thing is, I got focus breathing on, I mean, uh, focus peaking, and everything looks sharp. Uh, you will see uh, the hood. I am at 4K24. So what am I doing? Well, testing out... Uh, how the focusing is, how the recording is at 4K24 instead of 4K30. I think I do have it on vivid, you know, on the uh, color. I'm gonna go this way. Look at all this traffic. So this is 24, it's not 4K 30, all right? I'm looking for any stuttering, juddering and stuff. Usually I do 4K 30. Yeah. It's looking good. So I'll do one part at 4K24, the other part 4K30. Look at all this traffic. But uh, I'm trying out this lens too. And you know what, I could have put, no, it does have a lens hood. All right. It's one of those small ones, but I like it. I could, uh, what I've been finding out is uh, if it's missing a lens hood, I can transfer it to one lens or the other. I know that on my, um, and I'm gonna have to look in my box again for the uh, S9, um, not the S9, the uh, 85 millimeter. Not unless I sent that, yeah, I sent that to Peter. So I think he did get a lens hood. But uh, I can use the 50 millimeter lens hood on the 85. And that's a lot of dirt. So I think they dug up, they put in the uh, pipes. Now they're filling up the uh, holes. Yeah, they dug the trench all the way down there. Yeah, he's still digging. Wow. So they tear up the road and they dig the ditch. Wow. And I hope they don't make any mistakes. Now I think this is just for drainage and I can see where they chopped down some branches and trees. So I am leaning down, okay? But I'll write myself up once I make a right at rooms to go. It is right here. Now, 
this road may lean to the left also so I might have to straighten it up a little bit more But I wanted to try the 24P, especially on turns. I want to take a look at the stabilization. And how does this 15 millimeter look? Uh, I think it's looking sharp, folks. It really does. Now I am leaning down toward the left. And I'll leave it like this. Gives it a different look. I'm going into the sun. I got a dummy battery plugged into this. And the camera knows that also. You know, uh, they give me the warnings as a This is not a Sony A7 uh, battery, or Z the Z100, I guess, is what it's called. four-way stop sign now I'm liking some of the Halloween stuff that's going on around here so I'll be taking some pictures I I'm liking what I'm seeing all right folks it looks very dramatic I'm loving this lens uh, well I'm sorry this is the 35 millimeter can you see this deer all three of them So it is a wide field of view. I want to see how it does against the sunlight. I'll be going up and down the streets, back and forth. I'm testing out um, any overheating. Turn out the air conditioning a little bit more. It's 88 degrees outside. Wow. Getting close to the mid 30s for uh, Celsius. I can see uh, more deer to the left. I don't know if they uh, start mating yet. There's two huge do. No, that's a book. Yeah, they're both bucks. Okay, but they're young ones. They're growing their horns. So what do you think of the picture quality? It's looking pretty good. But it's at 4K24. I'm going to change it to... Uh, ...4K30. Just to take a look. It showed me the time. I can't read it on the Sony. Uh, I think it's nine minutes. It's so tiny. But uh, you saw the whole uh, hospital. And they're coming along with the cornerstones. So I'm going to go right up here. Take a look at this sign for the playground. This is the 35 millimeter. 
and I am going to make it straighter. So uh, now I'm going to change it to uh, 30p. 4k 30 and I change it to uh, uh, it's more uh, level now. So let's take a look at this. This is the 35 millimeter uh, Zeiss F2.8 at F11. So we're going to see if uh, this can capture some deer going into the sunlight. Uh, this is a uh, program mode. Should use auto intelligence just to try it out. Do that too. You know, you always like to try out cameras in different settings. This is program mode. It looks good, but F11 is kind of high. All right, it's uh, between one sixtieth and. Uh, one two hundredth of a shutter speed and everything does look it like it's in focus and I do see a squirrel but I don't know if you can see it He's skinny too. I am leaning down because the center of these roads, that's where the water runs off to the ditch. So what I think what I'll do is, uh, now I'm in the shade. Yeah, I went to F9. F10 and F11. Like that F11. Go back to the uh, playground. I'll put it on auto intelligent. Uh, you will see the hood. I put it like there uh, uh, intentionally to show you that uh, the stabilization is on. But you can see that the stabilization is doing a pretty darn good job. Everything's in focus. I'm also looking for any focused breathing. So on the S9, I was getting focused breathing. And the 35 millimeter is wider than the 15 millimeter. And I got the, I think the size 55. I know I have a 50 and a 55. Uh, I think the 50 is the, for the Nikon uh, F mount. And it's a Mac, macro 2, macro planner. truck gets in this stop sign. And it's looking sharp. So this is program mode. I'm going to stop this recording also and then put it on uh, auto intelligent, okay? And then, uh, it's all about testing the performance on how the camera uh, deals with the different pictures in the different video formats.